Now you brought up toxicity. You once quoted, I remember at a meeting we were at in Miami, you quoted a study by the uh, CDC well, yes. on chemical toxins in the cell. Sure. Can you share that with me? Well, first I'd like to tell you about the study with the EPA. The okay. EPA found that the average American contains about 700 industrial chemicals in their body. 700? Wow. That's average, on average. And there's over 70,000 industrial chemicals in our environment with over 1,000 chemicals being released, new chemicals every year. Mm -hmm. So that fact alone with the toxic burden we have with chemicals, I'm going to take glutathione, but the CDC study, they analyzed uh, the blood samples of 2,500 people for, I believe, 148 different industrial chemicals and found significant levels of those chemicals in everyone tested, everyone. Wow. Not wow. just a few, but everyone tested. And so again, who needs glutathione? We well, just think, what causes us to lose glutathione? Well, chemicals, toxins. Also, alcohol. Alcohol drains glutathione faster than any, anything, almost. Certain medicines will drain glutathione, like acetaminophen. And that's why everyone taking acetaminophen should be taking our product. Anyone mm -hmm. drinking alcohol should be taking our product because that alcohol is converting to acid aldehyde, which damages the liver, it damages the brain, can damage the heart. And so again, that's why anyone drinking alcohol is going to want to take our product. Other things that diminish glutathione in the body are, uh, you know, just a toxic diet, just a regular inflammatory diet that so many Americans eat with so much sugar. Sugar's inflammatory, creates mm. inflammatory mediators. High glycemic foods like white bread, white rice, cereals, instant potatoes. That elevates sugar, which increases inflammation. Most grains increase inflammation. Omega-6 fats increase inflammation. Trans fats, they're the most inflammatory food on the planet, mm. just trans or hydrogenated fats. But not just a poor diet, stress, excessive stress. Everyone's got stress. Mm. Stress drains glutathione, mm. as well as lack of sleep, as well as aging. Drains the glutathione levels. When you drain the glutathione levels, you're draining the immune system. Because mm -hmm. when, those, uh, when the immune system, the white blood cells, contain adequate amounts of glutathione, they function at peak efficiency. But just finally, just aging. Aging drains the glutathione. So who needs it? In my opinion, if you want to excel at sports, if you want to have faster recovery with exercise, you need ribocene, okay? <laughs> if, you have, if you're a baby boomer and you want to slow down the aging process, another thing, it literally Glutathione promotes longevity. One of the most amazing studies was called the Centenarian Study. These are centenarians that lived to be over a hundred. And they had three groups of people. They called them, uh, first group was 25 to 35, okay, young. And then they had the middle age. Now the middle age confused me because they said the middle age age group was 65 to 75. I said, wait, that's old age. But no, the old age were the centenarians. But what's interesting in this study they found, it's a well-published study, they found that these centenarians generally had the glutathione levels of the 25 to 35-year-olds. Wow. So in other words, if you want to slow down the aging process and live to be over 100 but not live in a nursing home, you want to keep your glutathione levels optimized. And so with all the things that can lower glutathione, who needs to be on this product? Who needs glutathione? Well, especially the alcoholics, especially people on medication, such as acetaminophen, mm -hmm. especially those people with chronic inflammatory diseases, chronic infectious diseases, especially those baby boomers who want to look good and mm -hmm. feel young and have the energy they had when they were younger. And uh, everyone with disease, disease, chronic disease lowers glutathione levels. Mm -hmm. So anyone with chronic disease should, be on, should have their glutathione levels boosted.